highly anticipated U.S. Justice Department report on Chicago policing will be released tomorrow. Sources tell CBS2 the report will be critical of several practices within the department. But will that report lead to change? CBS2's Dana Kozlov is live in our control room. Dana. Eric and Rob, the report is one thing. Important, yes. But experts say it could be waitlist without federal follow-through. I haven't seen it, haven't been briefed on uh, the whole report. I'm going to look at the entirety. And the Department of Justice report is expected to be harshly critical of business as usual policing in Chicago. We know we have uh, some things that have to get done to make changes. U.S. Attorney General Loretta Lynch will release the year long probe's findings Friday with Mayor Emanuel, U.S. Attorney Zach Farden, and Police Superintendent Eddie Johnson in attendance. The investigation began after video of Chicago police officer Jason Van Dyke's shooting of teenager Laquan McDonald was released, creating a firestorm of outrage and push for change. I was very impressed. Father Michael Flager, a longtime activist against Chicago's gun violence and for police. Police reform met with Justice Department officials a handful of times this past year. He's hopeful. I want to see recommendations for new training. I want to see recommendations for what it means to use a force. I want to see recommendations for discipline and punishment. But Flager and other watchdogs say without federal oversight like a consent decree, recommendations may mean nothing. The recommendations are concrete actions and the follow up what happens if they don't. The mayor hasn't agreed to a consent degree, but he says he will negotiate with new Justice Department officials. But how seriously new Justice Department leadership will take this report is not yet known. Live in the control room, Dana Kozlov, CBS 2 News. Erica, Rob. Thank you, Dana.